Hi guys, I'm a Forrester here with another coffee review. Now, I don't just like drinking coffee and making coffee reviews for you. I also enjoy watching other YouTubers' coffee reviews. And recently, I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers do a review of this coffee. This is Caribou Coffee's Caribou Blend, and they rated it as their overall favorite coffee. Now, that's high praise, and I immediately decided to see if it would replace my personal favorite, Pete's Major Dickinson's Blend. You know, I've passed this coffee by many times at my local Kroger and I've never bought any. Well, this time I picked up a bag and we're going to try it. Let's go inside where it's a little warmer and I'll give you my impressions of this caribou blend. Okay, we're inside now and I guarantee you it's a lot warmer in here than it was outside a few minutes ago. You know, I've been cold all winter long and I think it's because I lost weight and I lost that natural layer of insulation that I had. But here's why we're inside. It's to talk about this Caribou Coffee, Caribou Blend. The company headquarters are in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and the thumbnail picture for this video was of their headquarters. The company's been around since 1992. Now, I've seen this coffee in the grocery store for a long time, but I've never bought it for one reason, and that's because it's ground coffee. And I prefer to buy whole beans. I think whole bean coffee tastes better, it tastes fresher, because I can grind it right before I brew a pot of coffee. Now I bought this Caribou blend on the recommendation of a fellow YouTube coffee reviewer. And I'll give you a picture of the ground coffee right now. It's possibly ground a little bit finer than I would grind it myself because I shoot for a medium coarse grind. Now I like that the bag gives you a brief description right here of the coffee flavors and it describes it as smooth and classic. And I fully agree. Let me give it a taste test right now. Here's what the coffee looks like. If you can see that, it's a dark coffee, although it's a medium roast. Mm, it's really good. I can see why they rated it as high as they did. Now they describe it as smooth and classic and it's smooth in that it doesn't have any sharp or bitter edge to the taste. Plus there's absolutely no aftertaste. Now the term classic I think is a little harder to describe. This coffee meets a standard of excellence that I would say withstands the test of time. And that's what I think they mean by the term classic. It will withstand the test of time. I don't think you're going to be surprised or disappointed in the taste of this coffee. Now, my contribution to the description of this caribou blend is that it has a subtle caramel flavor. And I think it would pair very well with one of my favorite candies. And I've already gone to the store to find some. And this is Werther's Original Caramel Candy. Now, you're probably familiar with it, but in case you aren't, this is what it looks like. Right there. It's one of my favorite candies. And it goes perfectly with this cup of coffee. And I think I might have found a candy that goes even better because Werther's has come out with some different flavors. This one is just sugar free, but this one right here is caramel chocolate. It's excellent. And this one is caramel coffee. I think this one probably will pair better with this caribou blend than any other. So you might want to give that a try. I recommend it. I want to sit back a little bit and just talk to you because I've been AWOL from YouTube for the past couple of months, maybe a little bit longer. I just wanted to let you know that I'm still around. I haven't disappeared, but I have been burning my candle from both ends. Besides working my full-time forestry job, I work a minimum of four hours per day as an English tutor, sometimes as much as seven hours a day. My day typically starts at 4 a.m. in the morning. I get up, get ready for work, and I tutor for two, two and a half hours before I, come to, before I go to work. I work in my forestry job, come home, I exercise a little bit, and then I end the day tutoring again. Now I just hit 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. 
I believe a good number of those new subscribers are students of mine from my tutoring job. So you, if you are a student of mine and you've joined me on YouTube, welcome aboard and feel free to comment below. Practice your English here. I also wanted to let everybody know that I did lose my mother recently. If you followed my channel, you know that I typically went home every other weekend to see her and to keep up her property. Now, I was able to be with her at the end. She lived a full life and she's having a reunion with my father, my younger brother, and friends in heaven now. Just wanted to let you know that. Y'all take care.